Buddy needs to tell his parents something that they're not going to want to hear. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review. Today, we are reviewing Dakota Servald's America part called There's So Much More on the Thrasher Magazine YouTube page. This guy is one of my favorite skateboarders to watch for a few reasons. Number one, he skates gigantic handrails. I love that style of skating. When he does the big stunt 50-50s, he locks in on the heel side, not the cross lock. That's what I prefer to see. And also, he adds something rugged to a style of skateboarding that requires so much precision. And I think it's a really unique, uh, unique style to watch. Rewind and play. A lot of B-roll here. Let's see if we can maybe get some tricks, shooting some guns, kissing his friend on the cheek, dropping in, big drop in, starting off with a fall. Can I get a giant 50-50 to start with? I'm already annoyed. I sat here sucking this guy's wiener for the whole intro, and I gotta wait two minutes and 35 seconds for a drop in. That's gonna set the stage for the video. I could go to that spot right now and do this trick drunk, and I'm 30 years out of my prime. Can we please get something crazy? I just hyped this video up just to be disappointed in the first five seconds. Come on, let's go. Let's let's get it going. Two minutes and 55 seconds. How long is this? Nine minute video. We're hoping at this point to get four minutes of skating. We got some pushing fast right here. Something big is coming up. Giant ollie across the, uh, the handicap rail and over the big peg there. Big yellow peg. Skids for the kids. See, skating for the children. Skateboard's getting wet. You know what? I didn't say I like all America video parts. I said I like to watch this guy skate. So I'm gonna try to stay consistent here. I love to watch this guy skate. The part so far is letting me down. I was totally coming into this expecting this to be a 10 out of 10 part and we're starting off not that good. Back lip onto the dock, his friend's getting wet. Slow-mo right now. I want action. I'm telling you guys right now, I want some action. Giant front 50-50 into the front 5-0 there. We, I remember a few parts back, he did a, a grind down and across, a double kink, and then front blunted out the end. We get the three shove there, or an impossible, depending on what side of the country you're on. The cross lock grind. Can anything else be more wrong with this? Everything that I said in the intro is officially wrong. That's what I get for pretending I know what I'm talking about. Giant back heel across the uh, gap there. Planes in the background is Buddy needs to tell his parents something that they're not gonna wanna hear. <laughs> He's clapping, we're all impressed. So is this the be, is it finally starting? 425, was that all just like the intro? Cause I'm not excited now. I'm supposed to watch the first few tricks of the video and get excited. Giant fakie flip here, we're going fast. Push twice, switch pole jam back 180 over. Couple of tic tacs here. Man, what is going on here? Giant big flip across the gap. 180 nose grind. Where's the giant 50 50s and giant fast moving like tricks that I've that I've come to know and love here? We got skating on this awkward little roof wall there, backsmith on the tall rail. Another thing, um, not to compare this guy to Leo Romero, but they both have a similar style of skating the tall rails and landing very smooth. I would say they're comparable. Rolling down switch, I think that was a fakie flip going into the grass. Um, the tall frame here really, really makes for a giant ollie. Bobbling the kick flip there, a little bit weird. Um, people tell me that Westgate is not a tall guy, but he's got some insane hops. Then you see a guy like this who kind of does look like a lankier frame doing equally tall, crazy tricks. Front nose across the rail, love to see a front nose on a rail, right? I do. Who did the the big ones over the over the years? Eric Ellington, I think. Was he the one that front blended? Hollywood 16 or front blended, sorry, front nose, Hollywood 16. Or was it or was it Lizard? Oh god, now I'm just getting more and more wrong. <laughs> you guys can correct me, feel free. I do these live. I do these live and I mess up sometimes. We talked about this on the podcast the other day. It's not easy talking in front of a camera, especially if nothing's happening. What do you guys want me to talk about? The tricks that are non-existent right now in the middle of the video part, the nine minute video part? Okay, yeah, the Smith pops out early. He added the little styly knee bend in there, which I'm being sarcastic when I say that. Really big frontside flop right there. <laughs> Call it a frontside flop because it was not the same style as which you'd see like an Andrew Reynolds do. Giant backside flip, love to see that. 
I really expected more big rails. I also expected more more flipping into the rails. Um, I expected like some some kickflip front grinds, kickflip back grinds. Maybe maybe I'm expecting too much, or or, or maybe I'm just misremembering uh, <laughs> what I expected to see here. We got some driving. I'm falling asleep. I listen. I started this part with so much hype. And I want you guys to know I always keep it real. I was expecting this to be a 10 out of 10, and I always keep it real with you guys. I am a little disappointed so far in how the video is going. Are the skills there? Yes. Are there crazy tricks? Yes. Is he mixing it up well with uh, the big stuff, the small stuff, the flip front blunt on the table, front board, no touching his hands on there, the unique tricks? Sure, he's mixing it all up, but overall, the video is so much B-roll it loses something for me. And also, I sort of, I said he adds like a rugged sort of vibe to these big rail tricks, but right there, like perfect balance, perfect grind, not wacky inflatable arms moving all over the place. That's kind of what I've come to enjoy for this guy skating, even right there, front blunt through the kinks, the arms aren't going crazy, he looks like he's in complete control. But then, throughout this video, we got a bunch of tricks that there was a kick flop over a sign that bobbled on the way down. And uh, it's just not what I expected. And for a video that's this long and with so much wasted time, I think we could have done a better job of highlighting just how good the skateboarder is. Oh, nice right there's Buddy did the, uh, the back over crook. Oh, <laughs> hey there. You're gonna have to talk to the scooter riders' parents too because you guys might have something in common right now with the rail going into your butthole. Uh, okay, I did not see the uh, the fakie backboard coming out there. Are we gonna call that a fakie backboard? I know we get confused when it comes to lip slides sometimes. That was a really unexpected trick. Very creative, we got the creative tricks, we got the giant tricks, best of both worlds, we get some really fast flip tricks. But right here, the, uh, the heel side lock on what's gonna probably be a thousand kinks and a really long rail. I love watching skating like this. Obviously I'm biased, not everyone has to like the same skating as me. I try to keep, I try to stay consistent with my opinions, but you know, I, I am only human. We get a giant tray flip across the gap, and it seems like in this video, as far as uh, going back to the well, we're getting a lot of big, like, sort of gaps. We're getting a lot of channel gaps, more so than the giant grinds that I was gonna, that I was gonna be used to, that I thought I'd be used to. Pole jam to crooked grind, really well filmed there. It's gonna be a lip slide. A 5-0 down the wood. You can't always trust the wood to react well with the skateboard, especially in a little back alleyway here that looks like it's probably very old and weathered by uh, by rain and shit like that. But he pulled off the giant 5-0 with a perfect style. This guy does these tricks. It makes them look like their first try. And that was the whole thing. Well, I will tell you guys. Uh, I set... I ruined the video, okay? I shouldn't say this guy ruined the video. I ruined the video by thinking I knew what I was going to get. And maybe that's the problem with modern skateboarding now, that the bar is so, so high that when you watch a video that doesn't completely melt your mind, it's only a super, super amazing video part, but it's not like, it's not crazy religious experience video part. You know, like it's instead of being a 50 out of 10, it's only a 13 out of 10. And then it kind of, uh, I kind of killed it for myself. Uh, I would say as far as being bored, I was bored a lot in this video and I did not think I would be. Maybe that's just the style for America. We talked about it the other day. Some skate videos, they don't have to be all action. Sometimes they can have a couple of lulls in the middle to sort of build more tension for the final few tricks. But I went into this expecting nonstop hammers and I've let myself down. I would love to hear your thoughts. On a scale of one to 10, I gotta give this a seven out of 10. The tricks, nine out of 10. But as far as me being excited, does this make me want to go out and skate? Not as much as I expected it would. Maybe you guys disagree. Let me know in a comment below. Maybe I missed something. Let me know also, I get on these rants and you guys think that I miss some of the tricks. I'm watching all the tricks just because I don't acknowledge every single trick by name. You guys can tell I'm looking at the screen. If at any point in the video, I start acting like this, and I say blah, 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 and then I turn around, 
then feel free to leave a comment and say you missed a trick. But you can see my eyes. They are still open. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great week. The weather in Las Vegas is great. I finally finished building my backyard ramp so you guys can expect to see more skateboarding footage from me. So make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Kuna Matata. In the arms.